Hello people and welcome to Crypto Exposed. Okay guys, got a post here for you and I thought I'd share it with you because um, this is something I've covered recently but um, I watched this video and I'll be honest with you, I actually didn't realize how much of a big deal um, this was when I originally covered it and now I've seen this video, it has actually opened my eyes to how bullish this really is. So we've got the Hashback Wallet who've dropped a video just uh, saying HBAR network technology chosen to upgrade critical systems in global economy. Uh, the entire planet will build on Hashgraph. Now, the entire planet building on Hashgraph is a bit of a stretch. I'm not going to lie, but I, I do like the optimism. You know, I like I like uh, I like the optimism about it. But, you know, the entire planet is a bit of a stretch. I'll say that much. But um, look, nonetheless, um, this is really good. And so I'll explain why. Um, You've got here um, someone just talking about what this movie is from the Hashback Wallet team. Uh, what they're talking about is Hadira joining the uh, Linux Foundation, which is something I covered recently. And this was them giving up their source code, right? And I was saying, hey, they're trying to make the steps towards becoming more decentralized. And this shows you that this is part of their plan because, um, you know, it's been a bit questionable lately with them removing the community nodes from their roadmap. So, you know, this shows you that they are trying to go down that path of trying to become more decentralized. And, you know, I said that this proves it now. Uh, what just gets said in this video is something I didn't think about, and this is really good. What this has done by Hadira opening up the source code and making it publicly available, it actually now means that institutions and developers can add to the Hadira hash graph. So, like, you could get institutions who think, hey, you know, we really like the, the Hadira hash graph, but there's just the odd little thing that we need as a company just to you know, just slightly tweak it a little bit to, to, to get the use case that we need out of it. They could get their developers to say, hey, can you guys take a look at this? Can you, you know, give this a quick look at and see what you can do? See if you can do anything that would help us to make it more, um, you know, better for us for our app that we're trying to make uh, for our customers and stuff. And they could add to the source code, you know, tweaking Hedera, making it, you know, a bit stronger. Like they could add things to the, uh, to the Hedera hash graph that could make it a whole new, a whole new, uh, blockchain or hash graph, right? Like it could add new features or something like that that could help. So this is really, really bullish because you've now got like, enterprises institutions you could basically help build up the hash graph without even you know lehman baird etc and co like you know they may not even have to touch the hash graph anymore you could have these you know institutions just adding little things to it over time and you know keep building onto it building onto it and just just making it in the eyes of how they need it for how they see fit and stuff right or adding these extra little things to the hash graph eventually just making it even more accessible for people for people to use so yeah, like this is something I'll be honest with you that I hadn't really thought of. And so when I saw this video, I was like, wow, that is amazing. And this is another reason now as to why um, institutions would want to get involved, right? Because they can actually play around with the source code themselves, right? So like they can, as we said, like kind of, kind of like tailor it to what they need it to be. So they're actually having an input in creating um, not just whatever product they want to build on top of Hedera, but also actually the Hedera hash graph itself. So they can make it more um, tweaked to their needs for whatever it is they, they want to deliver on. Right. So, yeah, like I, I really didn't think about this originally, but that is amazing because now you've got a reason and incentive for institutions to want to get involved even more so because they feel like they're actually playing a part in building it up and also they're making it tailored to their needs so they can do exactly how they want it to be right they can make it exactly how they want it to be and how they want to um how they want the hash graph to be suitable for them so yeah um overall this could make hadira like get you know improve 10 times over now because you could have all these developers and all these institutions who are just adding you know tweaks and features to the hash graph so I thought I'd share that with you, man, because that is really good. So when they're talking about the entire planet building on Hedera, obviously what they're talking about is because all of these institutions are going to want to like, you know, use it to put their own like stamp on it to make it, you know, better for whatever use case they want it to provide. They're all going to be benefiting towards the hash graph. And so, yeah, um, this is really big. And that's why I say I understand like the optimism of them saying the entire planet will be on hash graph. It won't quite be that. Like that's a bit of a stretch. But yes, there will be a lot of companies now and a lot of institutions who would want to get involved with this. Like this is definitely going to make them way more desired uh, as a network. And so 
this was a real big move it, it really is like that's definitely a positive step forward and again showing you that they are trying to become more decentralized so i thought i'd share this with you because that is a powerful point that i hadn't thought of before and i think that does open a lot more opportunity for adira now going forward thank you very much for watching this please remember to like comment and subscribe and hit that bell take care